adesso in questo momento è entrato in studio con noi eh, John Rees, co coordinatore della campagna Solidarietà di Julian Assange, No all'estradizione. Hi John, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks very much for the invitation to speak to you. Welcome and thank you for being here. Uh, so you are the coordinator for the campaign of solidarity uh, for Julian Assange and no extradition, right? Exactly, yeah. So t can you tell me uh, a little bit more about what you're doing? Well, uh, obviously, um, uh, Britain is the centre of uh, this case at the moment because Julian is held uh, in Belmarsh Prison here in London and the extradition case uh, being brought by the United States government is being heard in um, English courts. And so we're at the epicentre of, uh, of this campaign. And um, in the campaign, um, we think it's important to put this case um, in the simplest and clearest possible terms. Of course, Julian's um, incarceration in the Ecuadorian embassy and his time in prison here uh, now lasts well over a decade. And there's been uh, a, a lot of court time and there's been a lot of complexity in the case. But we feel it's important to reduce um, this um, case to its essentials. And I would say the essentials of this case are as follows. There are only really two sorts of news. There's news that you get uh, from government press releases and from the press handouts of the major corporations. That's the kind of official story. And then there's other kinds of news which governments and corporations don't want you to hear. And that news inevitably comes from people who have got information which isn't in the public domain and which governments and corporations don't want to be in the public domain. And so if that information is to reach the public, then people inside the government or inside the corporations or who have knowledge about information which they are keeping from the public have to speak out and journalists have to publish what they say. And that's exactly what WikiLeaks and Julian Assange did. So if you want news which isn't only the official statements of government and the press handouts of corporations, you must want news that comes from other sources. And those other sources will be subject to pressure, sometimes to legal action, by people with power to try and stop that information reaching the ears of the public. And if you want to hear that, if you want to know what decisions are being taken in private, behind closed doors, which are vital decisions, perhaps about war and peace, perhaps about jobs, perhaps about your income, perhaps about your civil liberties, then you are bound to be a supporter of Julian Assange and WikiLeaks because they brought to public notice things which states and corporations didn't want to be publicly known. So that's the core of this case. And the United States is trying to halt that process, is trying to uh, use the Assange case to frighten and to intimidate all journalists and all publishers. Because it's using, for the first time ever, uh, the 1917 Espionage Act against a journalist. In other words, it's trying to say that what journalists do is the same as spying. It's using an act that was designed to stop spying to try and stop journalism. Now, clearly, these aren't the same thing. A spy takes information, secret information, from one state and gives it to another state in order to give that state an advantage against the first state. Julian Assange and WikiLeaks weren't taking information from America or from many other states around the world and giving it to another state. They were giving it to the public. They were putting it in the public domain, including the public of the very state that we are talking about. So there was nothing secret here, nothing designed to give the enemies of America an advantage over China or the enemies of China an advantage over America. It was designed to give the people of the world an advantage against those who hold power and wealth and guns and all the other attributes of being able to rule over the majority of us. So it was trying to even the power balance. 
to give us the weapon of knowledge, to give us the weapon of education, to allow people to make informed decisions about the politics of their own society. And that's journalism. It's not spying, it's journalism. And if they manage to get away with pretending that investigative journalism is really spying, we will all be the weaker. We will all be impoverished. We will all be disenfranchised. We will all be less educated about our societies than we could be. That's what's at the heart of this case. Thank you. This is very important. Uh, so do you think the internet was a, a very uh, a milestone in order to, to get this change? Uh, before internet, the internet, the information was only one direction from the official uh, governments and, uh, and so on. Instead, after the internet, journalism, and, uh, and journalists like Assange could spread all the, the news, the counter information uh, through this channel to, to people, right? Exactly, exactly. I mean, of course, in the past, even before the internet, um, there were people who would leak information, the Pentagon Papers, uh, for instance, in the, in the United States. But it was much more difficult to disseminate and it was impossible to create a safe way for people who wanted to, to get that information out, for whistleblowers, to be able to contact journalists. What WikiLeaks did was make that process easier and to make the process of disseminating the information faster and more widespread. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, riassumo in italiano quello che ha detto John Rees. Um, L'informazione che ha fatto Julian Assange è un'informazione giornalistica, è stato accusato invece di spionaggio quando le informazioni che lui ha reso pubbliche non le ha rese pubbliche a danno di un paese e a vantaggio di un altro paese, eh, che potrebbero essere magari i, i, diciamo, le basi di un'accusa di, di spionaggio. Lui le ha rese pubbliche, le ha rese pubbliche a tutti i cittadini del mondo, accuse di crimini di guerra gravissimi e, e questo è giornalismo e questo è il cuore eh, della battaglia che, di cui si è incaricato anche John Rees per eh, fare in modo che Julian Assange non venga estradato negli Stati Uniti do dove è accusato appunto di questi crimini e dove finirebbe eh, per, per tutta la vita nel braccio della morte di un carcere da ad alta sicurezza. Thank you uh, John Rees, I just uh, had translated a little bit what you said. Thank you for being here and uh, uh, let's go ahead with our fight all together thank you very much good to talk to you and good to talk to you thank you bye